album is a, is a trip, but it's also a the way when we listen to the songs and stuff and the lyrics, it's all chaos kind of, you know, it's all about what's going on today a lot. Songs about uh, manifesting jails and songs about religious cult, death, like the thing in Waco, and songs about holy war, like territory, or nomad taking away Indian land. You know, it's all chaos, man. It's all fucked up shit. I have I'm in search, thought of alarm, I'm sick of things, inside the state, what is created, no man's land, what is this shit? It's not really that we wrote stuff on touring, it's more that we we see a lot of things and uh, travel a lot in different countries, which give us a lot of knowledge to talk about different topics. Mm -hmm. So mainly on lyrics and stuff, we learn a lot from touring. There's people with, with the same thought as us in different countries and stuff. And uh, I think we can be living in Jamaica or India and we still be part of us because it's inside of us, the way we think and the way we play. The cool thing about being somewhere never been before because it, it, it gives you the feeling that the brand new feeling that unexpected what's going to be like kind of thing which is cool like you know we play a lot in america and a lot in in europe but then you go to somewhere like indonesia it's the whole thing is more, it makes it's more weird and unexpected we've been to some places that the drums were like you know worse than the ones that i used to play in brazil back you know home so for a place totally different uh, with the place we did Arise which was in Florida and was too many people at the studio when we were recording and stuff it was kind of hell so we're looking for a place more quiet to the same cast we did the photo shoot we came back there and asked the guy you know we would like to do a song here there's a real cool room in the back it's one of the oldest castles here like the room that we did it's really cool which you have like really big walls but there's no ceiling so it was a really cool acoustic on it and we put a lot of brazilian like for the first time really 100 percent brazilian influence on this song you know so sounds much better than we expect actually yeah it's it's funny we we mentioned to people yeah we did a, a 
acoustic song with no guitars and people go like ah. it's a ballad a ballad you know and then Where? people hear like that's pretty heavy man it's heavy to be a ballad <laughs> it's cool because it's all natural reverb from the place you know and the drum sounds really big and it's perfect yeah and also it's cool because me and paulo i got you teach him some rhythm stuff so he does like the the, the background music, yeah. and i kind of like do like a solo on it so he keeps the rhythm going and i do some different stuff and me and max put some yeah. guitars over that instrumental shit and came out really good i think a lot of people will be surprised when they want to listen to the song Evan came to the rehearsal and to Max's house, came up with the idea and Evan has a book uh, with a lot of lyrics he wrote, you know, a lot of lines. Mm -hmm. So they put together some ideas and came up with the song, It's Late New War. Biggest uh, jail massacre massacre ever in a happen uh, in '92 and and the, in Sao Paulo yeah in Brazil and the United Nations really didn't want to consider well could try to avoid and like like the, didn't take part too much of it but it was a big deal in Brazil and I got all the newspapers and yeah it was a rebellion what happened the worst part of the on the, on the jail, you know. It's the biggest in South America. It was built to hold like 3,000 inmates and they have 12,000. Yeah. You know? It's fucking crazy. See, we're not taking any parts on the whole thing. Yeah. I wrote the songs, it's just, I, I'm a reporter saying what happened. It's weird, inside the jail they had people that they were like convicted like forever to stay in jail and people just, that just stole a shirt. Yeah. That they would stay like one month there and they got killed also together with the other ones. Thing, uh, we we did it. He was like when before I recorded, he was I was warm up in rehearsal. He, he was like, let me hear just the bass and the drums, and and then he was listening to. He's like, don't you think this part will fit better if you simplify that or do like this? Because he has more uh, perception about studio than than any any one of us. So 
Yeah, he did a dad on the drums, he did a dad on the, on the guitars, you know, just to to make the song uh, sounds better and get a better feeling. I think it was great. He knew it already, what would be the best for us, or you know, like, he had the, the conditions that he needed to do our album here, so we thought it would be cool. Andy Wallace is really open for to try anything, you know, and he yeah. really let us really think far you know and try the way i approach it and it seems to have worked out was to get them to really record live to uh, i encourage them in the past they would uh, put down tracks and then overdub this and overdub that and i said well look you know i want the whole band to perform as a band but not just for uh, reference tracks so that we can get the drum track and such i want everybody really playing as a band obviously uh, this we wanted to maintain the opportunity to go back and change something or alter something but the point is i wanted them to truly be playing as a band so we rehearsed and, and did our basic tracks with that in mind and consequently a great deal of the actual live performance that was recorded at the basic track is present in the in the record and uh there were other things such as uh max for instance is uh he was quite willing and eager to uh, stand up in front of a microphone with a pop screen and, and sing like that, but it turned out that it worked much better having him sing as he would on stage, where he just takes the mic and addresses it and puts it right up to his mouth. So we used a mic that, uh, that worked for that and uh, didn't use headphones. We, uh, I just had speakers, a monitor speaker as he would on stage, just like a wedge on stage, blasting up at him pretty loud and created a live environment, or as close to a live environment as we could, as far as the sound and the feeling of it. It's more band than ever. It's like guitar, two guitars, vocals, drums, and bass. And then we didn't get any real help from machines or samples or anything like that. And that, and that was the plan. Can you get more desperate on accidents? Accidents! I think it's two terms of accidents. I think you could nail accidents with more, you know, just like new food and medicine, new terms and accidents. Uh, you know, just make more control. powerful. It's more along the right lines. Let's see The songs are so different one of the other that's cool. It's like a big trip into different uh, places through the whole album, which is that's the idea we wanted to make people. Like you sit, we're gonna sit down listen to this album, we're gonna take it to very bizarre different places from the beginning to the end of the album, like a, like a weird trip. Here, it's more like we understand that it's our album, you know, our music, and we want to do our way. Right 